comes to music now. <laughs> Artificial so. intelligence is one of the issues spurring on Hollywood's actor strikes as stars fear they will lose control of their lucrative likenesses. And it seems AI is fast becoming an issue in the music industry too. Singer, songwriter Hosier, who made one song basically, has said he would consider going on strike over the threat of the new technology, which poses significant threat to the industry. The Irish hitmaker has even said that he isn't sure that AI meets the definition of art. AI is causing its own record scratch in the music industry, splitting opinions amongst artists and producers. Singer Grimes, who is Elon Musk's, Musk's ex, has greenlit AI clones of her own voice to be used on new tracks, and Abbas Bjorn reckons AI could be a fantastic co-writer for artists. But others are more skeptical, with Drake recently having his vocals faked on an AI, AI song, and uh, Ed Sheeran has been vocal in his own warnings about AI. This is the, the issue I have with this is it's very difficult to feel sorry for artists mm -hmm. and, and actors, not because you know, they don't have genuine you know, complaints or anything like that, but because they're so far removed from the public, I feel. They're in such a bubble of an industry. You know, they, they tend to have different concerns from the average person. You're just like, this is not something I can really connect with. In the case of Hosier, who made one song, Take Me to Church, I don't know if you remember that song. I don't, I'd never heard of it. it. Exactly, because it was so long. I think it was well over a decade ago. Was it? Yeah, I mean, this man, Song, one song has been probably been remixed in clubs in Colombia mm. to some bachata song or some salsa song. I mean, like, take me to church. And that's probably the only, only people's recognition of that song. Or, you know, some South African club playing I'm a piano. I mean, he really has nothing to worry about here. I just think the issue is it's so far removed from the public that it yeah. seems a bit ridiculous. I don't think it is far removed from the public. And I'd, I'd take issue with what you said about actors and performers because I think that, you know, people, ultimately the general public do care about entertainers because they, are, yeah, they come into their living rooms so. and they listen to them every day and it's to put it into context for us for example it would be the equivalent of us coming to work for one day speaking down the lens right. uh, saying every letter in the alphabet <clears throat> every sound that there is and then leaving the studio and we would never get paid again because say talk tv could use our likeness our image and make up a chat gpt to make up our opinions and create this very show without paying us a penny. And that's what they pay you for actors... Oh, are you getting that's paid? Us. <laughs> that's not James. That's not James. That's not James. That's a, that's a, that's a revelation for us. But you make, you make a really good point. Really really important. Important. Tell everyone. Uh, you make a really good point and a really important point, though, about uh, creativity. And the, the thing is that... Artificial intelligence is basically made out of the, the greatness of others. So... Yeah. If you have great authors, writers, um, uh, singers and performers, it, it all creates into AI and then to be able to use that and then to be able to just use it for nothing. Somebody else is going to make a huge amount of money out of it and it really should be the originator, but, not you know, necessarily the, the tech the company. The problem, though, with the argument from particularly musicians' point of view is that there's already a whole raft of things that happen in studios, in recording studios. Which is where basically almost AI. Almost everything is, uh, is manufactured now on, a, yeah. on, a, on an Apple... Um, yeah, yeah. MacBook, you know, they're not necessarily just playing every single instrument mm. that you That's hear. True. And there's an awful lot of synthesising going on, an awful lot of, you know, multiple tracking that they do now. Yeah. So there's a lot of what is coming out of the other end of his, of his, of his singing voice, which isn't him anyway. No. How, how, you know? how many, how many artists yeah. write their own songs these days? Seriously. No, most of them don't write their own music. You know, the producers basically... Yeah, but they pay for them. Exactly. No, but the, the, the point um, is, the for artists themselves to be yeah. incensed by this, I just think uh, yeah. you should probably be more grateful for I your I think team. it's one of those... Years ago, I interviewed a guy who talked about AI when it first... When he was first talking about it. So, you know, when the internet came out, people said it's going to lose people their jobs, and mm. it didn't. It created millions of jobs. Um, people are saying the same thing about AI, but he said it won't. Completely. It will actually, it will be the very, op it will genuinely be brutal. And I think in the creative industries, film industry, television, etc., you know, you can have, you know, people used to build sets. This is a real set we've got here, but it doesn't have to be. So yeah. the areas that people will lose work, costume people, makeup, it just won't ne be needed because the technology won't Yeah, require. but you so. say that, but every time you look at something which is created artificially, it doesn't look the same. Never it's does. not the same. Yeah. And, and until but, at the moment, but they still it, go it, for it because it's cheaper. It yeah. does indeed. Well, I'm sure we could talk about that forever. However, we really